30 this afternoon. Well, what I saw is I'm a vendor from the Honey Ladies, and so is my sister. And we are on the vineyard side, and we just walked to the restroom about 520. And when we were in there, we started to get out, and we heard one shot, and we looked at each other and said, somebody doing fireworks? And we looked over, and about 15 feet away or so, there was a guy, and he was loading his gun again. So ella me comenta que justamente a esa hora ella se encontraba haciendo sus vendimias en la zona cuando aparentemente llegó el hombre, abrió, empezó a cargar su pistola y empezó a abrir fuego. What happened afterwards? It was a rifle, and just he just started running, um, walking towards our tent, shooting randomly. He wasn't looking, and two of our coworkers got shot. Um, the owner of the Honey Ladies, she's in the hospital. Her leg is, she went through surgery, and then she had to go back into surgery because she had internal bleeding, and her husband was shot three times, and he's in critical condition, still in surgery. Ella dice que dos de sus compañeros de trabajo uh, fueron heridos durante so, este tiroteo. Dice que una de ellas recibió un impacto de bala earlier, por un we, rifle en, en la pierna. También there. comenta you que know, un pequeño recibió otro disparo. Y dice que and el hombre se encuentra en condición 10, crítica. Saved the owner's um, three-year-old son. Just to go back for a second, you were saying that if it was just two minutes later, or oh, sooner, we would have been. Me and my sister would have been in the tent that got the the people got shot in. We would have been standing there with them because we went to the restroom and then it happened and we were only gone just a few seconds and we saw him loading but her 10 year old granddaughter um, the owner's three year old son grabbed him and hid behind the boxes so you've seen the shooter yes he was wearing um, brown khakis a green vest and a brown hat and he was a white guy and he oh, had a he 25 to 35, you know, and he had a, um, si he had a rifle, and he had like a folding stock, and he was putting a clip in it. Yeah. Al uh, and uh, when uh, we first saw him, what, uh, well, luckily we didn't scream, because he was, we were, just, you know, right, he was looking straight, but we saw him, we were straight line, uh, and we would have screamed, he would have turned and shot us, because we were that close. And he just went straight for our tent, and then we started running, and then um, she, re my sister remembered that um, her granddaughter was in there, so she turned around to try to hide and see if she could see her granddaughter, and everyone was telling me to run straight, so I went behind where the parking was. But I did see another little boy that I don't think he made it. They were saying that he was carried, and they were a, a lot of... What have you, the child was shot. What have you heard about your friends? Um, they're still in critical condition. They're still in surgery, so we haven't heard nothing much. You know? But we did. We've been seeing on the news. It was a lot about the other side. They didn't show. So I saw that you guys were interviewing. So we said, we better come down and tell us, you know, what we actually saw, because we did see the shooter. Thank you. You know, Candace Marquez. Candace, M A R Q U E Z. Candace, so what happens now? I don't know. It's so you know, scary, so surreal. I still don't I believe that it please. happened. I mean, you know, these are people we knew that got Thank shot you. for no reason, for no reason at all. And there could have been more tragedy. Two young ones were in that tent at the same time that could have got shot. And we could have been there two minutes earlier if I didn't have to go to the bathroom. And you were mentioning that one of the girls that was with you saw the alleged killer in the eye. Um, that was my, our, my 10 year old niece. Describe she actually, she said that she saw him and he might have had like a starting of a beard or a mustache and he was a white guy and he just looked at her and she dove in the boxes with the three year old and covered him. Why do you think he did this? I have no idea. He did not say a word. He was quiet. He just, like, this, it's senseless. I mean, it's so scary. You're going out with your family and to have fun and this happens. Did you know? he look angry? He did, I didn't see his face. I seen the side because I, you know, if we would have said anything, he would have shot us. We were at this perfect angle that we would have got shot first. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Ella comentaba que su sobrina incluso dio la aparente responsable en los ojos cuando él empezó a abrir fuego. Ella dice que está consternada de que este tipo de eventos ocurra en un festival que es relativamente dirigido a